So here is the geometry for the shell and two heat exchanger analysis. To begin with, we want to take the geometry that is a CAD model and we want to turn it into a fluid zone of water and five fluid zones of hot gas. And then we need to put a mesh on it. So I'm going to walk you through how to set up the geometry and how to set up the mesh to then later import that into Fluent for running the model. I've opened up ANSYS Workbench. First step is to drag and drop an analysis system of Fluent on the Workbench. The next step is to double click on Geometry and open up Design Modeler. When Design Modeler opens, then I need to go up and import file, import external geometry, and I have a heat exchanger IGES file that I got off a public domain website. Then I click on generate to generate that geometry. And that has now imported a solid shell and five solid pipes running through the middle of the shell. Next, I want to name each one of these parts. If I click on this, I can see that it's water. So I'm going to rename it water. And when I click on this one, I can see that it's going to be my south pipe. So I'll call it south pipe. The next one is going to be my west pipe. This is going to be my center pipe. This one is going to be my east pipe. And this one is going to be my north pipe. And also I want to change all of these to fluid zones. I'm going to keep my water domain a cell zone as a solid because then that will create an interface between the hot gas pipes and the water that I can then put a wall thickness and also set uh, conjugate heat transfer boundary conditions. Now that I have my pipes named, I want to click on the body selection filter. I want to right click in the open space, pick select all, then I want to right click again and I want to form a new part. And down here, I want to make sure that it imprints. This will guarantee that, uh, that the faces between these hot pipes and the water will be imprinted. I closed out of Design Modeler, and now I have a green check mark. It's time to, let's do a save first. I'm going to save this as shell and tube heat exchanger project geometry. Now that we have the file saved, it's time to double click on mesh and open up ANSYS meshing window. Now that mesh is open, we can see that our geometry imported correctly. First thing we want to do is click on the water inlet and then right click and choose create name selection. Here, inlet underscore water and click OK. We'll do the same thing for our outlet. Click there, then right click. We'll call this outlet underscore water. Click OK. Then we're going to click on all five faces, holding down the control key. And we're going to name these inlet underscore hot underscore gas and we'll do the same thing for the five outlets we'll click on each one of these outlets and then right click choose name selection and put in an outlet hot gas now that we have our boundary conditions named it's time to click on mesh Make sure it's on CFD and Fluent. And for sizing, we want to pick proximity and course. 
right click on mesh and click on generate. Now that the mesh is complete, we can spin it around and look at it. Nice looking mesh. And then we can click on statistics down here and see that it's about 400,000 elements. It's time to move on to Fluent, set up boundary conditions.